Hello, this is Brother Kermar from the Maths Department. This is a supplement of the videos dealing with describing categorical data, proportions, and sampling distribution of the sample proportion. Well, for, so first I'll talk about weight cases, followed up by pie charts, then bar charts, and then Pareto charts. So first of all, what I'd like to do is show you that there's two different types of data that you will be seeing when it comes to dealing with categorical data. This first, and these two data sets, there's this data set here and this data set here. These data sets are basically describing the same thing, but they're formatted differently. This first data set, each row represents a person. Okay, they did a survey, got a result, and listed the results for each person. Okay, now this other, this other type of data set is what's called summary data, where they, they took people when they responded and said abstracts were enough, check for new results relevant results, they, they took all these different groups and they combined the groups together to where this first row represents just one group and the second row represents the second group. Now you can tell if you have summary data if you have something like a count variable or a, or, or a count column or a frequency column. That gives, that's, that's a red flag that what you have is what's called summary data. So, and, and so basically you either have raw data where each row represents a person or summary data where each row represents a group of people with a count like the account variable or a frequency variable or a frequency column. So if you have this type of data, you have to do something ahead of time in order for you to do any type of pie charts, bar graphs, or Pareto charts. So if you do data weight cases, you have to weight cases by count. Okay? And if you click on OK, then if you look at your output, you will see, and you get to the bottom of the output, that it tells you that you've weighted cases by count with this data set. Okay? Now going forward, whether we use this data set or we use this data set now that we've, now that we've weighted cases, that we'll get the same results either way. Okay? So I'm going to use this data, the summary data, to get our, get our results. So what I'm going to do is, for the next graph I'm going to cover is deal, dealing with a pie chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my SPSS, the summary data, and like I said, whether it's the summary data now that we've weighted cases or the raw data, where we don't have to weight cases, we'll get the same results. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do graph, legacy dialog, and I'm going to do a pie chart. Okay? So I click on define, and so we define slices by the categories. Okay? So I'm going to take, which is reason in this case, so I'll take reason, and I'll define slices by category. And that's all I need to input when I go into this smaller window, and I click on OK. I look at my output and I see that here, is, here are my results here. Okay? So what we can do is we can go further and update this. If I double click on the pie chart, okay, we have now what's called a chart editor. If I go to elements and then show data labels, we can get the percentages if we want to for each of the different types of categories. I can also go in here and click on count, move this green up arrow to bring this up to from not display to display, click on apply, we can also get the counts as well, too. Okay? And that's how we can get a pie chart. Okay? The next item is bar charts. Okay? So what I'll do now is go back to my SPSS. And I'll do graphs, legacy dialogues, and then I'm going to do bar charts. And then I'll click on define, because we're just going to do a simple bar chart. That's By default, that's what's marked. So I'll click on define. And so I'll take the same variable reasons and stick that instead of Find slices by I'll be under category axis. So then I click on OK and then I have a bar chart. Okay, so I can also just similar to the pie chart, I can if I double click on the chart and then I do elements show data labels, I will get instead of percentages automatically that pop up, it's now counts. But that's but if you want percentages, you can go over to the not displayed box here, click the up arrows. So where now it's display, click on apply, so now you can have the percentages, okay? And that's the second thing you can do, okay? So then, so we have, we have pie charts and we have bar charts. And the last thing is Pareto charts. It's basically a bar chart with extra steps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this again. We're going to do graphs, legacy dialogue. I'm going to do bar charts. And I'll just click on reasons here. The reasons is already here, so I'm just going to use that. So I'm going to create a fresh chart. So I'm going to go into here, double click on this, and then click on, uh, let's see, actually I'm going to click on the bars here, and then I'm going to go over to the, my properties window, and instead of custom, I'm going to put in statistic, and 
instead of ascending, I'm going to put in descending. And then I click on apply, and then notice here that we have we have bar chart that's now in the form of a credo chart. You can also do elements, show data labels, you'll get the counts, so you can bring the counts, the percentages up into display, click on apply, and then you can have a Pareto chart that's similar to a bar chart, but now it's in ascending order. Okay, And that concludes the video dealing with um, SPSS commands for describing categorical data, proportions, sampling distribution of, of the sample proportion.